Hey y'all, so this is my first step. I'm adding my sesame oil, just enough to coat my pan. I'm gonna turn on Gina in the background, Gina Young, and um, try to do this step by step. And today, I'm gonna show you all how to make chicken and shrimp fried rice. Here's what you all need. You will need jasmine rice. And this jasmine and I am rice using my brand new wok. has been cooked yesterday because what you want to do is you always want to have day old rice. All right? Make sure you cook it the day before. And right here I have frozen peas and carrots that I've thawed out. You're going to need thinly sliced chicken breast. You will need shrimp, green onions, eggs, white onions, one clove of garlic minced, one fourth teaspoon of ginger minced, just a dash of uh, white sugar. You will need sea salt, soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil. Now, the first thing that we need to do is come over here to our chicken. I want to show you how I've sliced my chicken breast, and this is just two yeah. chicken breasts. And I've sliced it just like so. And then what I've done ahead of time, I have used one teaspoon of cornstarch on here, just a little pinch of sugar, a little pinch of salt, and mix up that cornstarch, that sugar and salt, and this has been setting for 10 minutes, okay? And what that cornstarch will do, it'll help you to have a nice, moist, tender, and soft meat. All right, so make sure you do that. Now, over here, I have a pan that I'm going to use. I have just a little bit, of, just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. All right. So I'm going to turn this pan up on high. All right. Meanwhile, I'm going to give our meat a nice stir to make sure that cornstarch, that sugar and salt is well incorporated. I did put just a little pinch of uh, soy sauce on here also. All right. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get this pan nice and heated up. And the first item that we're gonna start to stir fry will be our eggs. Once this pan heats up, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. What I like to do first is I like to go in with four eggs, all right? And we're gonna get those nice and scrambled up. Let's go ahead and season our egg with a little bit of sea salt. Just a little bit. I'm not even gonna use all of that. Just a tiny bit right there. Okay, absolutely. your yolk into your whites and then we'll let this set up and we're not going to cook the egg all of the way all right because we're going to um, take our egg out and then we're going to put our egg back in and it will continue to cook once we put it back in with the rice all right so just let this set up for a second Okay, everyone, my egg is starting to set up exactly like I want it. When I order takeout fried rice, I always ask for extra egg. I love egg fried rice. I love extra eggs in my fried rice, so I always make more than I should. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's really up to you all how much eggs you would like to put in yours. All right? This One is thing I'm exactly noticing where my I pan, you guys, take it see out. that? Like I said, take it's it out sticking. Early. This is supposed to be a pre-seasoned pan. Don't cook it all the way. All right, we'll go ahead and take this out, just like so. <clears throat> so I am not happy with my wok so far. This is nice and soft. But right. I've got some nice and then soft I'll show you eggs. our next ingredient that we need to put in. Some of you all might say, Gina, how like come that. You're, you're not using that wok that we love? I know a lot of you love that wok that I use, that silver wok. Um, but I found when I'm making fried rice and I'm using that wok, 
For some reason, my rice sticks to that wok, so I'm going to use this today. Yeah, mine is Absolutely. sticking. I need to invest in another wok where, like, like I just said, when I make fried rice, that my rice doesn't stick. Hold on, guys. I need to get, I need to get on my... Okay, okay, I still have a little bit of oil in the bottom of that pan. Have and what we're going to do out. now is we're going to grab up... Whoops. We're going to grab up this fourth... Let me fix my camera, guys. This fourth cup or fourth teaspoon of ginger. I'm all over the place today, guys. Fourth teaspoon of ginger. See how finely chopped? I'm going to put that in there. We're going to put that in with your garlic also. That's one clove of garlic minced finely. And what you want to do, how you know that your garlic and your ginger is done, it'll get very fragrant and it'll get a golden brown color. You don't want to cook it too long because what will happen is your ginger and your garlic will start to turn bitter if you cook it too long. So how you stop that cooking process, stop it from burning, is you add something that has water in it. Okay? So I can smell it very fragrant. It's very fragrant right now. So what we what we're going to do is we're going to go in, put our onions in, and the water from the onions will actually stop the cooking process of the ginger and the garlic. Okay? Give me just a second. I'll bring you right back over to our ginger, garlic, and onion. So now what's happening is, like I said, the water from the onion will start to seep out. And Just adding my onions to my onions, garlic and ginger. Our garlic will not burn. Alright? Very fragrant. That smells beautiful. Okay? So let's start to get our onions nice and translucent. And what translucent is, is where your onions start to turn a clearish color. Alright? I'm going to do just that. I have my heat up on a medium high right now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now they're starting to get translucent. So what I'd like to do at this point. So I'm going to pause hair, you guys and let my onions get a little bit translucent. And I will be stuff. right back. And the water. Working on my onions. Working on my onions. They're almost translucent. Let me let you see. See that? Right 
Okay, guys. My peas and carrots are ready. So I'm going to take these up. And then we will proceed with our next ingredients. Hang on. Boys in there, just like so. Okay? So now it's time for the shrimp. color when they're ready. Never want to overcook them, okay? And what I'm going to do, once these get nice and cooked up, I'm going to cut them in half so that they are, just cut them straight down the middle like that so I can have more shrimp in my rack. What a great idea because those shrimp are so expensive, right? What you're going to do right now is put you a little bit of sea salt on Salt a little bit of sea salt, these, okay, to bring out those beautiful flavors in this shrimp. We want everything to taste good, guys. Did you hear me? Just a little bit of sea salt will do the trick. Okay? Let those get nice and cooked. There we go. It doesn't take any time to cook seafood. And we're not going to cook it exactly all the way. And the reason why is because, same thing like I said earlier with the eggs. We're going to reiterate these back into our dish. Not going to cook them all the way, as she said. Because they're going to finish cooking up in our rice or cauliflower. So I'm going to let these cook just a minute and I will be right back. These are just about ready. Let me show you guys. They look so good. Y'all see that? So I am going to go ahead and take these up. Because like Jenny Young said, you don't want to cook them too long because they're going to finish cooking when, once you put everything together. So I'm going to, and these are already like pre-cooked, so basically I'm just warming them. She used real shrimp in hers, but I use shrimp that are already pre-cooked. So... I'm going to take these up and I'll be right back. So I've taken my shrimp up. Here it is. Yum, yum, yum. They are so good. I'm about to eat one. <laughs> Don't you wish you had some shrimp like mine? Okay, I think my next step. My video has frozen. There we go. Beautiful. And next we're going to go in with our chicken. And the chicken. Here's my chicken. Remember, I showed on the first video. We don't need to put any oil in the pan. We this, um, have oil in our chicken pan. has some um, cornstarch and oyster. Um, not oyster, but uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. And this thing is soaking up my oil, so I'm having to put like a little more better. oil in you here. Me? I do not like this wok at all. <laughs> not to toot my own horn, guys, but toot toot. But <laughs> so I'm going to separate these when pieces you, of study chicken. Different cultures. I study how they cook their foods, what spices, and how they use their spices, what they do to make their meats tender, and everything. And I have so much. You really want to so see how this is done? Just go to How to Make Combination Fried Rice by Gina. 
Gina! Gina, you show me how to do something, girl. Come on, Chippy. I have a lot more chicken than she has because I'm cooking for two days, enough for two days. Stir my chicken and my eyes and leave it on. You don't have a problem with it getting mushy. <laughs> well, at least I know my walk holds heat. I cooked it about 85, 85 to 90% done. So Gina is a step ahead of me, so I'm going to pause here for a minute so that I can get my chicken done. Not soggy. Soy sauce is what I was trying to think of when you pre-do your chicken breast. Use a teaspoon of uh, cornstarch, a pinch of sugar, and a pinch of salt, and a little bit of pinch of um, soy sauce, and let it sit for like 10 minutes. And it's supposedly to it, it supposedly uh, makes your chicken really, really soft. Come on, chicken. Gina. My chicken taking a long time, Gina. Let me leave it alone. Let it sit a minute. I also have some spring rolls in the oven. So I'm going to let this get cooked up a little bit more, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, after you take your I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on my chicken. Just a little. It's just beginning to get a good fry. Getting called for black pepper. I love black pepper. So I am going to sprinkle just a little bit over my chicken. And as you can see, it's really cooking up. Yep, it's cooking up. Still got a few pink pieces. Yep, I said pink pieces. So I'm going to finish this up and take it up and get ready to do the next step. So hang on. 
Okay, guys, my chicken is done. Take a look at that. It is done. So I'm going to go ahead and take this up. And we are coming on to home plate. Woo woo. Can't wait to taste this right here. Yeah. Oh, horses. So this, guys, is cauliflower. Looks just like rice, right? That's what my hubby thought it was. So I'm getting ready to put that on. So I got my cauliflower in. Make sure that there's no big chunks of rice that's stuck together. You want to make sure that it's all individual just like this. Okay? Keep now, in mind, guys, this is my first time doing oil this. In the bottom of the pan. And what you're going to look for is... Gina's doing jasmine rice. So if you want to use jasmine rice, make sure you watch her video. Then we can start adding our sauces and our spices. But we're not going to do that until we start to see the rice pieces jumping up in the pan and kind of dancing around like so. Okay? And once that starts to happen, that's telling me that our rice is nice and fried up the way that it should be to the correct temperature. Alright? Because now, if we were to go ahead and start adding soy My sauce and oyster sauce and all that stuff in so here it's right take now, a little time to get it all heated up. You what's going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to have a mushy fried rice. Right? Does that make sense? Because our rice still needs to continue to cook. Alright? And each piece of rice needs to have oil on it. Okay? In order for us to get the perfect rice. Like I said, we're not doing smushy I'm over here. I'm making sure it's each piece of my cauliflower here. has oil on it. I can't wait it. to show you once this starts to heat up how the rice will start to dance around. And kind not of get this like walk, guys. I'll tell you the name of it. Also. So we're going to let this go comments. just for a little bit. But it's soaking up right my back, oil. Guys. Okay, everybody, what I want you all to notice is see how I've spread my rice out? And the reason for that is because we're frying this rice. We want to make sure every piece of this rice gets nice and fried up. If we would have it in a bunch, up like this into a bunch, every piece of it won't get fried up. All right? See if that? I spreaded my Absolutely. cauliflower all around, making sure all of it gets fried up. You do the same you thing if you're going to use rice. And you start, turn it over to the other side, spread it out, and let it get nice and fried. All right, just like so. Just like so, Jesus says. All right. Once our rice starts to get happy and jumping and popping in the pan, we're going to start adding everything back in. Be back. Okay, everyone, our rice is starting to sizzle and kind of jump up and uh, down. Give me a moment, guys. I'll be right pan. back. Okay, guys, the next step is to add our green onions. Make sure you get some, a lot of the light onions in there. 
And some of the dark ones. So in the end, let's get my other items here. We're going to add some more items to the We're going to incorporate our beautiful vegetables with the garlic and ginger. And then we're going to incorporate our beautiful egg, just like so. All right? Mix that stuff. Yeah, I'm adding my beans and a little bit more egg that I wanted to use. So I'm going to put that Onions, in just like so. Carrots. Like I told you all, oh, I love egg in my fried rice, and I'm going to put a lot in there. There we go. Beautiful. That's how I eggs for it when I go out. Yeah, I always say adding extra my egg eggs and extra bean sprouts. Oh, guys. Speaking of bean sprouts, I went all over the earth oh, yesterday I the looking bean for bean sprouts. sprouts, and I was so let down. And I will not oh, ever, man. trust me when I tell you this, guys, so we gotta I will start not this ever all get the kind in the can. The fresh kind, they are awesome. And like oh, I said, when oh, I order mine, I always good. say extra egg and extra bean sprouts. But hopefully next time I go to the store, they will have fresh bean sprouts for me, right? Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this up on extremely high, okay? We're going to cook this up. Oh yeah, guys, check this out. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we will not, don't you dare, put any spices or any of your salsas in until your rice is complete. Because if you do it now, you that, just, I'll say it one more time. If you do it now, you will have a mushy rice. You don't want a mushy right fried rice, so put all your yeah. other sauces you in at the end. Right? You're wanting that sound. That sound right there says we're frying up some good fried rice. Right? Oh, yeah. Now let's go ahead and we're going to put our shrimp. In our I'm going to add my shrimp and chicken. And juices that are in the bottom of this, I don't want those juices, okay? I don't want anything that's going to make this dish mushy. Alright, so if you got juice from your shrimp or if you got juice from your chicken, hey, drain it. Got a little bit of here. juice no from deal. my shrimp, so I'm trying to avoid it. it. Takes two seconds to drain it, right? Oh, yeah, baby. Get that nice and drained, just like so. Okay, I had a little bit of juice there. If I was making any other dish, you don't other want to get any rice, juices in here, so you don't have any soggy fried rice. But not today, guys. <laughs> not today. All right. Let's go in and mix everything, just like so. Look how beautiful. You're gonna be so excited for this meal. I was supposed to make it yesterday, but I just wasn't feeling the greatest. And I'm adding my chicken. But I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost back. And as soon as I get all the way back, I'm going to do a mukbang for you all. Show my face. Oh, look at this, guys. Would you look at this? I'm going to give this about two more minutes for everything to get nice and warmed up to re-warm up our chicken and our shrimp and the eggs and everything. And once everything is nice and warmed up, we can start adding our seasoning and our sauce. All right? Beautiful. Look at this, guys. So I'm going to get this all mixed in. A few minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, and everyone, I, I will got be my right back. going right. This is warmed up. We can start adding our seasoning and our sauce. You want to use right. that little pinch of sugar? Beautiful. Look at this, guys. A few minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I got my egg rolls going right beside Since this. I have so much, I use just a tad bit more than a pinch. Because our <laughs> rice is nice and done, everything's well uh, warmed up. Go ahead and put you some sea salt in. A little bit. And I'm going to toss the rest of this. I'm not using that. All right, and now. A pinch of uh, sugar. Just a pinch, guys. This is it. Okay? And you all might say, Gina, why the sugar? Gina. I promise you it won't make it um, sugary. Why the okay? sugar, Gina? Just put it in there. Trust me when I tell you this. <laughs> she said just right. put it in there. So Trust then, her. Let's go in with 
with our soy sauce. All right, not too much. Remember, guys, nuts go in with our soy sauce. All right, not too much. Remember, guys, not too much. Not too much. Oyster sauce. If you can't use oyster sauce, don't use it. Okay? Just take it out of the recipe, and you'll be just fine. It'll taste great without it. Because I know um, someone just messaged me the other day and said, Gina, my husband can't eat oysters. She said if so you can't have, use oyster sauce, you can okay. use plum sauce. You can use plum sauce in yours. So you're going to use plum sauce. I believe it's called plum sauce. Uh, sesame oil and soy sauce. Now right now I'm going to put some sesame oil in. All right, and I just oil. like to do a drizzle over the top. And that's a enough. drizzle. All right, so now. Let's go in, guys. Let's get this mixed I'm gonna up. I'm going to put a little bit of red pepper flakes. And when I say a little bit, that's it. That's all I'm putting in. Because my family oh, loves yeah. the heat. All right, here's where the love happens, guys. This right here. Fried rice, one on one. If you never had it, guys, if you never have this kind, make it some. I'm gonna add and a little bit recipe, more guys. soy sauce. I you, you will absolutely I have so, I have such a big pan of this. Me, I grew up on Chinese food, guys. Me and my dad, we would go get Chinese food all the time. And we would go to a place, I believe it was called Happy Dragon. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it was called. And guys, it was the best Chinese you could ever imagine. I'm I would gonna love taste this. When my dad brought home Chinese food. Because I always had to have the wonton soup, shrimp fried rice, and the egg roll. Right? Oh, and don't forget the um, egg foo young. I love egg foo young, guys. This right here is duck. If you wanted to put some white pepper on here, you could. Gina Young's fried rice. Check it out, guys. Look at this. See that? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Let's get a shrimp in here. Let's see. Look at that, guys. Look at that, guys. Right there. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? All right, I want to plate this up, guys. I'm going to come back. And that's it. Plate this up. That's you your homemade shrimp and chicken fried rice. First, I want to give this a try. Make sure you guys 